guys welcome back to new video in this video we will be discussing about fleet management so what is fleet fleet management is a way of maintaining a group of vehicles in a company in order to reduce the cost and improve the profitability and productivity an e-commerce company operates large fleet of vehicles to manage their delivery operations from the distribution center to the customer location so they make use of fleet management to optimize their delivery operations so let's get into the fleet module in Odoo 16. Once you get into this module, you would be able to see that you can create different status for the vehicle such as new request to order, ordered and registered and many more other status. You can also sort the data like you can use the default uh, sorting functionality or custom sorting functionality. And here we can see it has different views such as can, band, list, um, pivot as well as activity. Now, if you want to create a new one, uh, you can just click on new button. Here, I have already created a vehicle. So, let me choose the vehicle that I have created. So, here the model name is given here that is BNW X1. So, once you get into the internal link, you would be able to see the model name as well as manufacturer. And uh, you can see the vehicle type is set to car and this belongs to a sports car. And under the information, you can see this car has two doors only. Uh, then the number of seat in the car is 2, the color of the car is black and which is of the model year 2022. And if this vehicle has a trailer hitch, you can just enable the field. Uh, it is nothing but that is a primary connector between uh, the tow vehicle and the trailer. And you can also set the engine type that can be gas, diesel, petrol, so on. So this vehicle is diesel and you can also set the uh, CO2 emission that is how polluted the vehicle to the environment is. So you can set that uh, range and you can also set the um, CO2 standard and the uh, vehicle is uh, automatic. So I'm using the transmission as automatic and you can also set the power, horsepower and uh, horsepower taxation also. So let's set the horsepower taxation as 100. And you can also set the vendor over here. That is the uh, vehicle is provided by Azure Interior. So let me save this. So once you get into the vehicle smart tab, you would be able to see that this vehicle is currently registered. Now let's back. And uh, if you want to create a new model, uh, manufacturer and all, you can manage that from the configuration menu. So all the created manufacturers and models will be visible from the configuration menu. So here you can see all the manufacturers and uh, you can see all the models and all. Now let's back to the fleet, uh, I mean uh, the vehicle that we have created and you can choose that. Afterwards, uh, we have to fill all other details such as the driver, uh, cur current driver as well as the future driver. And if you plan to change the car, you can just enable the field and you can also set an assignment date as well as this vehicle BMW X1 belongs to my company San Francisco and you can see that we also need to fill out certain details uh, of the vehicle such as the category of the car, the immatriculation date, the cancellation date and the charges number which is the number that is visible in the vehicle as well as the last odometer uh, and a fleet manager and you can also set the horsepower taxation and the first contract date as well as the catalog value of the vehicle and purchase value and we know that as we use an asset it might depreciate its value so you can set that value also. Now under the model you can set the model of the vehicle and the transmission color number of seat and all other details and under notes you can provide more details regarding this um, yeah, vehicle. Now you can see the uh, driver history. So you can see currently we have only one driver that is uh, shown here. And we can also uh, get the odometer of the vehicle. So all the odometer uh, readings will be visible under the odometers. So here you can see the odometer reading of the vehicle. Now the created uh, contracts and services will be visible under contractor uh, contracts and services. But uh, here we haven't created any contracts and services. So let's see how can we create a contract for the vehicle. So you can choose a smart tab and let's click on new and that would allow you to create uh, the um, yeah a contract. So let me uh, give the reference over here. So you can set this as the reference itself as well as you can 
set the type of the contract so i will be leasing this so you can uh, choose the type as leasing and you can also set the vendor and uh, if you want to include certain services during this leasing of uh, the vehicle bmw you can include all those uh, services so here let me choose az compressor replacement az diagnosis and uh, battery inspection and all and you can see that this contract is uh, about for one year and you can see the start date and end date and this contract will be dealing by Michel Admin. and uh, you can see all other details and uh, you can set an activation uh, cost of the lease and you can also uh, set a monthly cost that is the recurring cost and you can also set a date afterwards you can set a start date and end date i mean uh, i mean start date uh, and you can also set the uh, terms and condition and you can save this and currently this contract is in in progress and if it's expired that will be moving to the expired state and if it's closed that might be moving to the closed state so currently uh, we have given that the expiration date of this contract is 2024 so it's about one year to expire the contract now let's back to the contract that we have created and you can see we have just created a contract and let me create a service so in order to create a new service here you can just add the description um so we need a maintenance maintenance of bmw that is repair and maintenance if you want any other you can choose it from here and you can set the date and you can see the cost of the maintenance and you can also view the vendor and you can also get the odometer value that is the current odometer value so you can set that and afterwards if you want to set any um, notes regarding the services you can set that and let's move on this to the running state currently the service is ongoing so this is how we uh, manage with a vehicle and you can get two order meters over here right now so so far we have just created a vehicle uh, and we have filled out all the details now let's see how can we create a category for the vehicle so if you want to create new category you can just click on new button and that would allow you to create uh, the car so if you want to create a new category like leasing car you can just create uh, a new category so the category will be this category will be available under the categories and if you want to create new types uh, for uh, the repairment and all you can create that so if you click on new button that would allow you to create uh, a new uh, type and you can also add the uh, like uh, the type like whether it is a contract or it's a service okay now you can also manage with the status of the vehicle like uh, you can create new or uh, different stages so as you move on to the fleet dashboard you would be able to see different stages like new request to order ordered registered downgraded and reserved and waiting so that can be easily managed from here so you can see that the status over here so if you want to create new st new stage you can create it from here so if i create a new stage see if i create a new one you would be able to see that and let me keep it here and when you just move on to the fleet you can see the stage over here okay and afterwards we can also manage the tax like uh, the car belongs to junior senior or employees car purchased car or leased one uh, you, you can set that tax so tax are used for filtration purposes and you can also set the activity type like uh, how you want to um, make in contact with the uh, client uh, from the yeah from the michelle admin from the uh, responsible person so they might be keeping uh, an activity type like that can be email call meeting contract to renew like th th there will be different activity types and uh, afterwards let's get into the configuration settings and you can see that we can set an end date contract alert like we can set an alert after 30 days before the end date of the contract so if we are setting such a contract 
for the fleet um so the clients might might be getting an alert so that they can renew their uh, contract if they want okay so uh, after we manage the fleet you can get the reporting of the fleet with different measures like that can be based on cost or that is uh, based on the count okay now uh, you can see uh, the blue color shows the contract and the orange color shows the services and you can get this in bar chart line chart pie chart then stacked as well as cumulative descending and ascending and you can also filter your data based on some default filters as well as custom filters and you can also group it with default group by filters and uh, custom groups and you can also get the comparison uh, with the previous period as well as previous year okay and it has different views such as graph and pivot so it is very easy to manage a fleet uh, in an organization using fleet module uh, in odoo 16 so currently we have registered this uh, fleet and if you want to downgrade or move into downgrade this vehicle you can just move this frame here and if it it is reserved you can just move the state frame one to another fleet in odoo would allow a company to effectively manage the delivery operations and performance of a driver so hope this concept is clear for you as always stay awesome